Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, it's a uh, beautiful Friday evening. Normally I don't come on on a Saturday, a Friday evening on Instagram. Friday evening after a very busy day, busy, busy day. But they say, thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. I mean to say it's time to chill and relax. And um, of course, well, this is like a chill zone at the same time. This is really like a chill zone moment, you know. But I decided to come on tonight. Well, I was encouraged to come on tonight, actually, um, because I'm not going to be doing uh, my talk and sip tomorrow night because I've got some engagements. But I uh, was encouraged to come on tonight uh, in regards to the passing of Kevin Samuels. And as you can see the title there, Kevin Samuels, the man, the godfather and his legacy. Well, the word is out that... Kevin Samuel has passed. The word is out that he died. And, uh, you know, now I'm not, a, I wouldn't say that I'm a follower of Kevin Samuels, but I do, whenever I get a chance, um, because I, I tend to work late in the night or early in the morning, and uh, I would normally see his program and I watch his videos and find it very interesting. I find it very intriguing and I find it very um, enlightening at the same time. Some areas I disagree with and some areas I agree with. And, uh, and I can see that even in death, even in death, Kevin Samuels is actually creating controversy at the same time. One, whether he's dead or not. Two, people are gloating over his death and i find that very interesting and very strange and not normal very not normal very unusual and very not normal um but i'm here on the invitation of of lester gale and street vibes to come on well um they are the ones who have the authority on kevin so i'm just creating this platform if in 10 minutes they are not here I'm not going to stay, <laughs> you know, but, but the one thing that I can say though, and, um, you know, with Instagram live, with Instagram live, anybody can actually come onto Instagram live and we can have a conversation and so, you know, and as I said, very interesting how even, even on my Facebook page, even on my Facebook page, I just simply said, um, you know, Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. Rest in peace and um, to your, you know, condolences to your families and friends. And, uh, you know, it's like everybody's getting their kittens a bit. And I'm wondering, what's going on here? What, what is this? What is this? And the more I think about it, I realize that maybe he has touched onto something. Maybe he touched onto something that need addressing you know sometimes there's tough love there's bad love or whatever like that maybe there's some tough love there and you see sometimes when a person goes through things in their lives and they are sometimes at a particular space in their life and they are focusing on a particular agenda could it be could it be that based on the, the mistakes that they have made, they are seen whereby I cannot let other persons go through what I have gone through. Could it be? And uh, the, the more I think about it, the more I, I, I say to myself, what is this? What is, what is the, 
the key factor. What is this vitriol? Right? Vitriol against this gentleman. And but as a man again, as a, as a man again, as, as, a, as a black man, <laughs> you know, I, I said to myself, we, I've got to stick with the brother. We've got, as brothers, as men, we've got to somehow, at the same time, build, stick together and build each other, no matter what. And that is something which is incumbent upon every man, whether, uh, you know, but let's say black, because this is what we're talking about, black men. Black women, and that is one of the whole hallmark of what Kevin Samuels about black men, black women, relationship. Now, I'm a married man, so I'm not uh, a person that give advice and get into these sort of discussions. You know, try to live my life <laughs> properly as much as possible. You know, but but it is very clear, very clear that he must have touched onto something very touchy and something very profound. He must have touched on to something. And, and based on what he has touched on, I believe that somehow a legacy maybe has established. And I believe more than likely that more persons will come up and actually to speak upon the things that he have touched on. Relationship is very important. Men and women relationship is so important, you know. Marriage is so important. Relationship is so important. You know, I mean, what's going on in America now? Abortion, not abortion. All of that is important. Every aspect of that is important. But how much of these things can we actually, um, you know, take hold of and actually run with? Because each one of us, it's like, it's like your headspace. Well, actually, they said your brain is hardly being utilized to the full extent. It's just a percentage of your brain that is being utilized. So therefore, the key thing is that to utilize as much as you can. But I would ask a question. You know, and I see, I, 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 I mean, reading and, um, and watching, and, and, and a lot of guys and a lot of, lot of men are coming out with their videos and saying, why? Why is this vitriol? Why is this gloating? Why is this happiness? People are saying R.I.H. I never heard about R.I.H. before. I always heard about R.I.P. Rest in peace. Now, what is R.I.H.? Is it what I think it is? If somebody knows what is R.I.H., do tell me what is R.I.H. <laughs> what do you think R.I.H. is? I have no idea what is R.I.H. Never heard of R.I.H. I'll wait till someone tell me what is R.I.H. while I play some music. <laughs> yeah. Somebody, somebody just said a while ago, Big Shirley rejoicing all over the internet. Rest in hell. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Wow, wow, wow. All right, H. But what can and why can someone as human beings speak those words? What is it? You know, it must be something, must be something um, deep, must be something hurtful, must be something. Um, uh, you know, that resound deep. The person, one sentence, what, what, big Shirley rejoicing all over the in internet. Kevin Samuel is a man of truth. He tell the truth no matter what. Um, that is what someone said. Uh, you can't make this up. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm waiting, I'm waiting on, on Lester and um, what's his name to come on. And if they don't come on, I'm not going to stay long because this is not my, my forte. I'm actually hosting and facilitating this. Um, these guys said, uh, come on, let's do something at 10 o'clock. And um, they are not here. Um, I'm a person of time, you know, British time. 10 o'clock is 10 o'clock. You know, but at the same time, if anybody wants to come on, yeah, we just make use of the time and come on and tell us, what you think of Kevin Samuels? What you what 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 you what do you think his legacy is about? Um, was he a good character? Was he a bad character? Um, was his message 
spot on or was his message off was he actually berating and belittling and um, abusing uh, black women as many people say or was he actually challenging persons challenging persons in relationship was it that yeah was he challenging relationships was he challenging relationships to be better or was there some as some would say he had some sort of issues or whatever like that i don't know i don't know but one of the last videos and i believe it could be his last video i i, I scrolled back and and started to to look a bit more on some of the things that he's doing and uh i think i saw the last video which he did last night the last video i think i did last night and a lady was asking him why is it that you're hating or do you like black, do you like women and uh he said if i didn't like women i wouldn't be here i wouldn't be talking to you and, and he said i was always doing women i was always talking to men um somebody said once a man says anything that seemed negative about women is instantly public enemy number one that's what Dwayne went once a man says anything that seems negative about a woman is instantly public enemy number one you know but the interesting thing though i i would say about kevin samuels is that most of his followers seem to be women yeah. most of his followers seem to be women majority of them are women most of the persons that are calling on his program are women so people flood and when people say uh according to what i'm uh, what i'm hearing is <laughs> is that they they follow him to hear what he's saying but why is that because i believe that sometimes you know people are like spies you know sneak and they listen in on conversations they listen on topics that sometimes they don't like but it is like they're actually getting something that sharpens them you know getting something that sharpens them that say hey you've got to be fit hey you've got to think before you get into relationship hey before you have children you've got to think these things hey you've got to plan your life properly plan it properly ahead all these sort of things maybe it is something that sharpens because people have to get sharp people have got to think long term long term hey you've got to get your will in order hey you got to get fit and uh and, and i think one of the things that came through which um lots of people are talking about as well is the whole aspect of fitness because 56 is young i'm 53 um you know i i i, I you know i was diagnosed pre -di pre diabetic one of the reasons why i'm very intense on my exercise and how i eat as much as possible is because of that diagnosis 2020 uh, just recently i just did an eye 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 test you know what i mean just to check out your eyes really which is something that they do you know and uh, and as a result of that the the whole aspect of it is you've got to really take care of yourself you've got to look after yourself you've got to look after your body because at the end of the day this body is just for a season just for a time you know and um, that means to say you've got to look after yourself. You've got to go to the gym. And if you don't go to the gym, you can just simply walk, you know, walk in the park. I always say this, and this is what men has got to do. Men have got to take care of themselves, take care of their body, you know, do, you know, skip, do those skipping things. Eat properly, eat well, you know. I mean, I, one of the things that I do on a Tuesday evenings, I, I go to the, the park. Not to the park. I go to my church. Downstairs my church. We have a, a makeshift sort of gym. Where a, a pastor, um, a preacher come and he, he does it. And he does some training. And we I put it up on Facebook all the while. Keeping yourself fit. You know, I can see the difference in my physical output. I can do press up, which I never could do. Which, which not, not, not that you never could do. You can always do things. Can mean to say you're physically able to. But at the same time. I'm able to do good 20 push-up very easy now. I can do the skipping very easy. I can't do the funky skipping like many people do. But eventually, you're going to see me doing some skipping with some funky move. 
because all I want to do is just perfect it, perfect the basic skipping at the same time, perfecting the plank, you know, running, uh, push up, press up. It's cool. Hey, how are you doing? Push up, press up, or whatever they call it, you know, jump rope or so. Taking care of yourself. Not a mate of mine, not a friend, person. Another um, Paul, Paul Lawrence, a few years ago. Well, no, it's a year, I don't know, it's a year or so. No? Um, died just like that. You know, you don't know. So therefore, the, the key thing is that our body is just here for a season, right? And death is something that will come. One of the things that I do when I'm walking in the park, and when I talk and I do my motivational talk, walk and talk motivational moments, yes, no politics tonight, um, but this is politics still. This is politics of the heart, politics of love, you know? One of the things that I do when I'm walking in the park, I always say this. And during the COVID period, I always say death. Death. Why are people scared of death? The, the whole COVID period was about death at the same time. Worrying about catching COVID. Getting the vaccine because it's fear death. Death will come. That will come to me if God don't come beforehand, you know. And therefore, you see me today, you don't see me tomorrow. But how can we as persons be prepared, be ready for death? Because death is not the end, depending on what you believe. It's a process. The most important thing that one has got to do is to make sure that when you pass on, you don't put your family that they have to go on a GoFundMe as much as you can. You try to prepare yourself as much as possible. Prepare yourself now. These are some simple, basic tips. I remember uh, a good amount of years now, when I was working, um, I forget where it was, and I walked past this place saying, do your wills, you know, get your wills done, get your wills sorted out. And, and I said to myself, yeah, I need to get that sorted out, actually. People keep telling me. So I, I did it. I, I talked to the person and I organized. And... Uh, Leading up to the time when the, the lawyer was supposed to come by my house and my wife and to sit down and to go through the whole process, I, I started to drive so carefully. I started to drive, you know, just very conscious, you know. Why am I thinking about will? Why, why, why am I thinking about will at this time? What, what is it? Is I, is I going to keep the bucket or whatever like that? And um, did the process, got the will sorted out. Then after that, I said, wow, the will is done now. What is going to happen? But that's not it. The, the, the whole thing is about being prepared for things that will come. Getting yourself in, get your house in order. And getting your house in order is not just when you reach the point when you're in your 50s or 40s or whatever, is teaching our young people and our children how to get themselves in order from early. Yeah, get yourself in order from early. Now, I may not speak on the topics that Kevin Samuel speak about, you know, but but right now, <laughs> while I I say I'm waiting for this guy Lester to come or whatever like that, I just say let me just capitalize because it's half an hour now. I'm not going to spend more than one hour here, you know, or less than that. But from what I'm thinking now is let's speak on some basic things that men need to do to prepare themselves and to get themselves in order. Get yourself in order, get your life in order, get your finances in order. And the most important thing is that you may not be a millionaire or, as they say, <laughs> high-valued man or whatever like that, you know. But at the same time, you can get your finances in order. So therefore, your families and your family, family and your children, things are in place for them if you keep the bucket early. That is what are some basic principles that men need to shape themselves up about. I think Lester is here now. Um, I was giving him five more minutes before I wrap up. <laughs> well, you know, so, 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 you know, looking, looking at these things, you know, one has got to, you know, I, 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 I one of the things I always say about is this whole concept called the black element. The, the whole black element factor is, how can we as people at the same time, with differences of opinions and difference of ideas and different ways of thinking, 
somehow at the same time can build each other. How can we somehow build each other to be persons that even though I disagree, even though we have varied opinions and different ways of thinking, but finding that common ground, finding that common denominator and build on it. Build on those common denominator. That's the whole thing. Lester, if you're there, brethren, you need to come on because um, I'm not going to tarry too long. I, I, I created a show because you guys said to come at 10 o'clock. I'm here. Um, and as men, again, we've got to be on time. We've got to be on time. We've got to be sharp. We've got to be on time. You know, you've got to be on time for the things that you do. You've got to set example. Example for your children. Example for your daughter. Example for your family. Men have got to lead their household. May not be perfect, but you've got to lead from the front. As a matter of fact, no, no, even though women, and talk about equality and all those sort of things, but women actually prefer and deep down want a man that will lead from the front, not from the side, not from behind. And even if he's from the front, but they want to lead. You know what are the powerful thing a man can do? You know what the powerful thing a man can do? One of the powerful thing for me is when my wife comes into the living room or, or look for me and she actually asks me to pull, yeah, pull a, a, a jar, <laughs> pull a, a, a jar, a jam or whatever like that, to pull it. That's, a, that's the most powerful thing. Men, men feel powerful when your wife comes in or your, your, your lady comes in and says, can you pull this, pull this container? Even my daughter, you know, my daughter of 10, she become daddy. Can you pull the bottle of water? We have all these bottles of water around the house. Can you pull this for me? Now I teach my son. I say, can you pull it for your little sister? So, you know, so <laughs> why am I saying this? I think I'm saying this because Kevin Samuel's legacy, apparently, maybe somehow will create men to give different perception and different way of thinking that we look into ourselves and see how we can be stronger and more powerful men and leaders. Yeah, uh, that, that's, that's, that's how I, you know, looking at this thing here now, you know? Yeah, I think you're at it, boss. I, let me see if it works. Should be, there you are. Virgin, men need to be yeah. early now. Men need to be early <laughs> and on time, sharp. Uh, you know what Kevin yeah. Samuels would say? Sharp. You can't make Sharp. this up. Can't make this up. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Well, I'm good. I'm good. I'm alive. I'm alive. Uh -huh. I, 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 presume, I presume that maybe you were doing some blogging somewhere else and, and caught up in some other <laughs> live no, discussion. No, 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 no. Not at all. 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 How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm I'm good. I, I as you as you said, let's let's have a, a discussion on and I, I sort of created the topic um you know about Kevin Samuels, the man, the godfather and his legacy and to see uh what one can deduce from what we know of this man so far, what you know of this man so far, based on because you're the one I believe I've been <laughs> Maybe I've direct, directed me to him, you know, but, you yeah. know? and then I started yeah. to watch him at different times and catch, catch yeah. it with, and, and find it very intriguing. Um, but, but tell us, Lester, because really and truly, it's your oh. show. I was just using the platform. I was just making myself the platform. You know? <laughs> um, Kevin, Kevin Samuels is um, a very dynamic person. You know, he has a background in mm. sales and um, in, later an image consultant. And um, a straight shooter. You'd call Kevin a man's man, you know? Yeah. And he also, his mission, not that my opinion, but this is what he said. <clears throat> his mission was to realign the black community, especially black couples, you know? Mm. And also to teach black couples 
the importance of balance, the importance of putting things in the right perspective, the right order. And yes. also that his, his, his message is don't listen to my delivery. Listen to the message. Mm. Look at that's what is important. It is the message that is important, but we are too caught up on the, on the, the delivery, on the packaging, you know? The packaging don't have to suit you or you don't like the packaging, right? It's just like, you know... What is the contents? Mm. It's like, like, like the Bible. You have people of the Bible, the, 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 the cover is old and, you know, used and tattered, but inside of, the, of those covers is what is really important. Yes. You know, and he was very old school. You know, he's 56, so he's not a, he's not a chicken, but not, mm. not old, old, but, you know, he's, he's a man from that era. And he believed a lot in principles. Mm. Um, he believed a lot in order. He believed a lot in respect. Yeah. Um, so that, 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 that was the, the key factor. Um, for, for me, is that he respect the alignment. You know, he's a man's man, man of his word. He believes in the family. Very important. A lot of people knock him for being divorced twice. I said that he was married twice. You know, it's a perspective of how you look at it. You know, you, you can always criticize somebody, but he's a man that believed in marriage, you know. And um, the, the funny thing, he spoke to men for three years on the internet, on YouTube. Mm. Mm. And he yeah. was ten times harsher with men than he was with, 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 with women. Ten times, you know. So women are, are saying that he's very harsh and demeaning and he tears on women. Yeah. You should listen to Kevin talk to men. Yeah. He, he, he's very harsh on men because he said that you have to be an alpha male, you have to be a man, you have to, you have to lead. And the woman has to see something to lead, to, to follow, you know. So yeah. it's very hard on men, you know. Um, but you know, um, I think he was also very fair, mm -hmm. very, very fair, you know. Hold on, let, let, let me turn on a TV, TV. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, while let's have gone there, uh, let's have brought up a point a while ago that, um, he's been sort of chastised or criticized because he was twice divorced. Uh, Alessa, I'm bringing, I'm bringing yeah. up that point. I'm bringing up that point where you said that uh, he's being criticized that he's twice divorced. Yes. Or you, but you, 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 I like how you spin it, twice married. Yes. Yeah. And the, the, the interesting thing about that is experience teaches a lot. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if you see fire and you know what fire is, there's, there's two things you can do. Allow everybody to go through the fire so they can feel the burn. Or, yeah. you bottled fire. Them about, or, or what? Yeah, you bottled fire. Well, no, no, I wasn't thinking that. Or prevent them from going to the fire by teaching them. Teach them, yes. yes. And, and, and what I'm speaking of is that maybe, okay, he's been twice married instead of saying twice divorced <laughs> and um, has his ups and downs, but maybe he has learned something whereby. You don't have to go through this. And, and many times, many times, even with business people, and, and sometimes they always say this about the black community as well, is that we reach to the top and we're not so good at sending the ladder down. Yes. We're not really we, we good yes. at, at bringing people up. It's like we said, boy, you have to feel it like how we feel it. You know, you know, we work hard, so you have to work hard too. But at the same yeah. time, you are up there already to make it easier for someone else. And make life easier, even though it might be hard, even though it might be tough love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know, if if you are to be fair, he mm. was such a broad person because a lot of persons who who went to university and college, and they would um, study these these disciplines that he said he said to them, look. Are you working in that field now? No. He said, it's a useless degree. You, he said, if not a lawyer or a doctor or, you know, he had, he had a category. He said, look, look, the same the field that you're in now, you could have 
been the, the four years that you spent at university, you, you, you could have been working in that field for, for the same four years, right? Yes. And gained so much more experience than going to university, studying something, and then you come out of university and you're not even in the field that you studied for, right? Yes. And he encouraged people, especially <clears throat> women, he encouraged women to make smart choices in the partners, smart choices in the education that they take, smart choices in who they create a family with. But also, he made a very important point. Be with somebody who is of your level. Because mm. a lot of women want to have this high volume and this, this 1%. And it's only a small fraction of 1% more with a wide pool of women wanting that 1%. And he said that what, what you women are doing in this pool here is ignoring the other men that are capable of also taking care of you, also loving you, also having a family with you, and you're looking up at the 1%. And these men at the 1%, is looking down at you and having you for fun. Because the women that these men really want are usually not from the pool that you are in, that you're looking up to be with the 1%. Mm. The men that want, the women, the women that they want are not usually in that pool. But the, the pool that you're in, these 1% men use these women for fun. And that's where the water get muddy. Well, one, one of the things, one of the things that, um, as you, you rightly said a while ago, it is not how things are said, but it's that it is said and that the content is more important. But delivery at times, if something is not delivered effectively, what it can do, it can block the message from going because everybody's at a different level. Everybody's at a different space. And not everybody can take something. There's a thing in law which is a take your victim as you find them. And, and the principle is this. If, 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 two of, if two persons are standing and one person push one. No, two persons are standing there. Yes, two persons standing. One is, one is pushed and he falls over and hits his head. Another one is pushed and he just said, that's not nothing. You know, I, I wasn't, you know, that kind of movement. Now, the question is that two of them stood standing there, the one who died or got his head hit. The, the other, somebody can say, hang on a second, but hey, I pushed the other guy and nothing happened to him. I pushed this other one and he fell. It's not my fault. It's because he's weak and everything like that. But the, the, the point in law is that take your victim as you find them. I mean to say, just because he's extra timorous or whatever like that, that is the person and that is why he got killed. You are the one who is responsible. Many people are saying that, uh, and ladies are actually saying that, uh, he's abusive to women. Um, he, he, he cuts up black women. He put them down. And I always find it very strange because every time I watch his show, there's all these women calling in. Y yes. Um, um, to answer that, right? Yeah. When he spent three years talking to men, nobody knew who Kevin Summers was. Mm. Three years. Within the first three to six months of talking to women, it, he spoke to women just the same way how he spoke to men. His, his, his delivery was the same way he spoke to men. Mm. He blew up. He became a instant sensation by talking to women the same way he spoke to men mm. one of the reasons why is that nobody spoke to women like that in a real way and challenging them challenging them but not only that these women kept coming back these same women kept spreading the word that this man is obnoxious or this man is good. Yeah. It's, it's both of them, you know? But I'm yeah. saying his delivery was also entertaining because we tuned in to say, 
what will Kevin say to this woman? What will Kevin say tonight? Who is going to be Big Mama or Big Shirley? Is that it? Who is going to be Big Shirley? Who is going to be... Is, is that Big Shirley going to... And, and listen, mm. he was always respectful first. Always. You know, he started out by, you know, good evening, how are you? Always respectful. So when people age? say that he's tearing down... I notice he's always asking their age to make sure that he doesn't have any children or young people too young there. He always asks their age. Many times... 18-year-olds mm. calling, and he said, this is not for you. 18-year-old. Mm. 19-year-old mm. calling, he said, this is not for you. This is a grown folks thing. Mm. You know? And th they said that he tears down black women. No. He targeted black women. He targeted he black targeted people. Black, people. black families. Yes. Black families. Because, yes. because mm. he says, and, and listen, and I've been spending the whole day on Facebook defending Kevin. The second lowest group of women that are, that are getting married are white women at 54%. Mm. The lowest group of persons to get married are the black women at 28%. You, you see the, the, the vast disparity in the numbers, right? And then he said, when you look at the Indians, when you look at the Chinese, when you look mm. at other ethnic backgrounds, they are getting married in the 80s and 90s percent. Right? So that means one in every four black women will get married. That is not a good average that we want. Mm. You understand me? And he said, when you look at the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, even up to the 80s, black women was getting married at a rate of 94%. We were once the highest. So, so what just happened? The, the, and and the, the, there's a dip there. There's a fundamental dip. There's a breakaway. And, and I think one of the things that I picked up, because I was going through and analyzing, uh, because I tend, he, tend to, he tend to use a lot of statistics and figures. He's always close by with statistics and figures. And I, and I presume that he's a, a person, before he comes out and he set his program, he's armed with information. Exactly. Exactly. And, 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 and it, it is so unfortunate. It is so unfortunate because, you know, as, as I said, and while I was thinking about it, and when I hear the person's really negative, persons who don't know him, and cutting and pasting and putting comments that other persons say about him without finding out who the person is, is, is very disingenuous. And then we mm -hmm. miss out, we miss out on quality. Not Matthew, yes. not everything you are, listen, listen, not everything you say I agree with. Not everything I say you agree with. But there's a common ground that yeah. we can actually have discussion and build on each yes. other. And I think that is because Bill Cosby Okay, he had his issues. But one of the things that Bill Cosby said, pull up your trousers, man, boy. Yeah. Walk straight. Yeah. You know, when I, yeah. if I see my son slouch or something like that and dragging his foot, I say, I say, stand up and don't, and, 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 and don't drag your feet. Walk. And then sometimes he see him start a joke and start lift his foot. I say, that's it. Walk strong. Sit up. Yeah. And, and, and that, is, that is what, as men, we have to do. We've got to actually teach and lead from the front as much as possible. Keisha, good afternoon. Tracy, good afternoon. Mm. Doing, good afternoon. Welcome, 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 yes. welcome, welcome. Alisa, big up yourself. Welcome, Alisa. Mm. Um, listen, only weak persons are bothered by Kevin. Yes. Weak men, weak women are bothered by Kevin. Right? Yes. I hear some women say that he's an abuse, he is for domestic abuse. And and what, what they would do is they would quote a line of a whole conversation that he had. Yeah. So he had a whole conversation and they would quote one line of it and they would run yes. with it. Yeah. I've yeah. seen 14 seconds of something that he said today going around. I've seen one minute and 54 seconds and I said to persons, this conversation was actually for 15 to 20 minutes. So you're going to judge somebody for 14 seconds. Mm. from a 15 or 20 minute conversation right 
And I said, like, like when he, the, the domestic abuse conversation, <coughs> that he, uh, part of what he said is that if we, if some women were getting um, um, slapped, right, yes. they wouldn't be behaving the way that they were behaving, right? But there was a whole conversation. Now, what he actually said, the fullness of what he said is that women will say some of the most harshest, mm. rude, disrespectful, nasty things to men. And in their defense is that I'm speaking my mind. You know, I don't have time to waste. I'm, I'm telling me as it is. And to other women, you go, girl, woman power. Yes, tell him, tell him as it is. If a man would say the same thing to another man, mm. that man knows that he will get checked. Mm. He knows there's a strong possibility of him being checked, seriously checked also. So he, he even, Silver, you and I disagree many times. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we many have times. <laughs> we, have never, we have never crossed the line with each other. Mm. Never. Mm. And we have a strong disagreement. Mm. Right? And remember how you met me when I was on Facebook Tearing no ends of bad word and stuff like that. And you, and you wrote me and I said, oh, rude boy, what do you care do you think so? And you know, mm. right? I, I, I'm on the, the special page as you are, the FBJJ page, something FBJ, like that. FBJ, yeah, right? yes. Yeah, you know? But you came to me as a man, you spoke to me like a man, and I responded back as a man, and I adjusted, mm. right? Now, if, 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 if women, if you had said that to a woman, Big up yourself, Nachilus. If you, if, if you had said that to a woman, you're controlling who you're talking to. You, mm. um, you're trying to rule me. Just, the, the response to a, to, of a woman would be way different. Right? Mm. And what, what he's saying is that if women knew that if they say certain things, they will be checked instantly. They would adjust their attitude. So he was not saying that I am for domestic violence. But also, even with this domestic violence, he went to fire and said, when you look at the statistics that is reported, it's very low. Something like 14% or something like that. Right? Mm -hmm. So he said that if you're not going to actively do something about the abuse, right, then don't talk about it. Because you, you, because you are not running out there in numbers and reporting it. You know why? Many of the time, the women have pushed the boundaries, have disrespected mm. their partners, and the partners, over time, got so fed up that he reacted in this way. So it's not like the, um, the, the men are going around abusing women. No. And many times mm. why they don't report it is that, the, and, and, and he's not saying that physical abuse towards women or anybody's right. He's, ne he's not said that. But he said, when you look at the genesis of where it's coming from, right, it is a woman who is usually the aggressor in the situation. Is that usually. similar to, is that similar to um, Amber Heard and um, the gentleman there from Pirates of the Caribbean, that, that big case which is going on now? Johnny Depp. A, Johnny Depp, yes. Which people uh, 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 are... But, 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 okay. I just went to late at actually, length. Explain. Actually, actually, somebody just said it a while ago. No, no, Dwayne, Dwayne Branded just said it a while yeah. ago. I didn't actually read it. Perfect example yeah, of the Johnny yeah, Depp situation. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Vita said it's okay to hit a man. I don't think you're saying but, that. But, but, I just but, Vita. But, I just but, Vita. But, 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 but I would like Vita to come on. Because we want a woman's perspective, you know, who disagree with, um, with Kevin. But, 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 but can I you just... address... Can, well, can you address that bit she says? So it is okay to hit women. I don't think you're saying no, that. But, you no, but, but, I, but I just addressed it that. Sorry. Uh, but I just addressed it that he never said hitting a woman is right. He yeah. never said that we must hit women. Mm. I'm saying if a, his point was if a man said the same thing that women say to men, he would have, he knows that he would get checked, Right. These two gentlemen, Dwayne and Nachilus, are men that I know from, we are boys, right? And as much as we are friends, 
we have never crossed the line with each other. Mm. Right? Because we know that, look, if you say certain things, you're going to get checked. But women push the boundaries, right? And their excuse is that, oh, um, um, my, word is my, my, my word is my strength. That, no, mm -hmm. because words have effect. Words do hurt, right? And the black community, especially women in the black community, they are brutal. Perfect example. Perfect example. I was at a bus stop in Jamaica. See this nice girl. I rolled up on her. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Lester. How are you? Me no one walks with man. Man who walks, walks alone. That's all I say. She no want to walk. <laughs> she a walk foot, you know. But she no want to walk foot, man. Mm. Now, isn't that demeaning? Isn't that tearing down the black man? Right? No. If you put it in reverse now, if you put it in reverse, if she had approached me and she has a baby, right? She has a little boy with her. And she said, hi, good afternoon, sir. How are you? And I turned to her and I said, I don't want a woman who breed up, breed up. You hear now how I am misogynistic, I am rude, you would hear how I'm tearing down and oh, can't you love a woman that, that already has a child? You'd hear mm -hmm. all these things. You'd hear all these things. If I said the same thing to a black woman, right? I've seen women who said, men want a fat man, like a, like a guy with, with, with weight, approach her very decent in the bar, and on top of our voice, you know, a big fat man, mm. right? Your body little in front of everybody, mm. in front of everybody. And Kevin said to women who are obese, Hey, the type of men that you want, that you are looking for, remember, you know, is not, is not him. I tell her, say, the, the, uh, this man. Don't want you, you know. He said, what type of man are you looking for? What salary range? He asked the question and she said, somebody who's, who's earning um, 250 to 350,000 a year. And he said, my dear, how tall are you? And he sized her up and he said, okay, these men in this category are not looking for women that are 5'2 and weigh 250 pounds. You are the size of a linebacker. Right? Mm. All hell broke loose on the internet. He said, you're average at best. No, how many times, Silburn, have women looked at men and said, you're ugly. You're ugly. You're fat. You're bald. I don't want you. Women have said this thing to men for decades. Mm. If you turn to a woman and say that she's fat, Right? Body shaming. And he's saying, no, 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 no. If you can say it to me, I can say it to you. He was in gender fairness. Mm. When, when he said that, men and women, we're, we're not equal. We're not equal. He said, if you were to do the Thanos snap, and all men would disappear, right? Can women run the world? And every woman, oh, yes, we could. And he said, all right, are you practical about your answer? Of course, we could run the world. Da, 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 da. Women can do everything. And he said, listen, we don't need you. You need us. Mm. Which is true. Uh, I have worked at a power plant before, right? The only woman that was at the power plant was at the gate. Logging in cars. From you left the gate, there was no other woman on that facility. Mm. None. Because certain jobs you need physical strength for. And Kevin was saying that we have roles. We have roles. Lots of women keep saying we don't need men. That same woman, 
when mm. something happens in her house and she picks up the phone, it's usually nine to ten times a man, a man turns up. When her car breaks down on the road and AAA, triple A comes, it's usually a man. Right? Well, I, well, I, well, I used the example earlier when the, 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 the most powerful I am is when my wife comes in the uh, room or whatever and she said to pull this jar. You know, to pull this jar. Man, that's one of the most powerful moments for a man, man. When the wife says, can, they, they don't even ask him, they just go like this. And you just, yeah. yeah <laughs> real man thing. Real man yeah. thing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know. But, 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 but mm. Silver. Yeah. In that same light. Yeah. I have seen where, where, I was with this lady and she has um, two sons. Yeah. And she asked one of the sons to pull, to pull the ketchup bottle. And he was struggling with it. She grabbed it from him and called the other brother and gave him. I said, you to work this man. Hey, you pull this. And him pull it. And she turned to the one who couldn't pull it and said, you work this no good for no man. Go yeah. Isn't that the tearing down of the black man? By the mother. Yeah. We I think, I think are, they, they, yeah. Go on, go. On. Sorry, saying, yeah. We are so used to the black women crying foul and say that black men are always tearing down, but black men have been exposed to women tearing them down from the womb. Yes, that's a fact. I, I, yeah, I, I think I think also there's got to be a balance though, and that's why I said when I listened. At different time, and I listen to women, and I, I listen to their views as well, and the vitriol. Um, women have emotions, and um, you know, I'm not going to say they are the weaker sex, but um, they got emotions, and they're hurt, and they hurt, especially when they have been hurt over the years. At the same time, and then when a man actually come at them very hard, even though the message and they 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 they're genuine want to actually do good but how it is delivered it can come again with like a a beating stick and and i and i and that's why i said one of the legacy of kevin samuels and for persons who are shrewd and smart is to see how they can take the message that he's he's delivering and somehow not water it down but sharpen it to a point mm -hmm. to get the message across. Because there must be a reason why women actually gravitate to his message, even though yeah. they might not like it. That is why they come on. And I, I watch it all the while. I, I always laugh sometimes, and I know what's going to happen. Like when a woman raises her voice to him, and they say, stop it. What do you mean? This is my show. What do you mean you raise your voice? You don't do that to me. <laughs> you know? And, and, I, and, and, when, and when he said, you can't make this up, you know, when 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 yeah. when he's when he's speaking on a particular point, and a woman come in on the program and display the same point, and he said, "There it goes." And so, therefore, there's got to be a a teaching moment, a teaching message, how one can somehow use what he's saying, the message, and to build persons, to build women, to build men. Because at the end of the day, if I'm not mistaken. The whole essence of his message should be building the black race, building the black family. That is why he talks about most of most persons they, they, they come from the church setup. So what was your father? What was your father like? Did your father teach you? He, he, he tends to always go back to that root base. And that is why yes. I don't I don't criticize him or use it to say, well. He's speaking like that, but he's divorced. He's speaking like that, and he's not married. He's speaking like that, and he's alone. But maybe he has learned something through the period of that time, and that is why he's now got a powerful message as well. Yes. But, yeah. uh, but also, um, remember, you know, for the most part, most of the black men teachers in, in, the, in a black man's life have been women. Right, most of our teachers mm. were women, black women. Most of uh, the persons that we were around, most of our lives have been black women, sisters, aunts, you know, cousins, mothers, mothers, friends, and stuff like that. And he said that. Are you saying? Are you are you saying for majority of men? 
A majority of black men, yes. Women have been the majority mm -hmm. persons around us, right? I I'm sure when you were in Jamaica, going to primary school and high school, majority of the teachers were women. Uh, yes, yes. Majority of the teachers were women, but I had some yeah. good men and, and I had some strong um, father figures around me at the same time growing up, yeah. which, yes, yes. Uh -huh. But, 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 um, and, and, and you and I um, grew up in the same, same, basically the same era. Mm. We did not see in that era the high level of disrespect by the black woman towards the black man. Not, 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 not at how it is now. We saw more average persons getting together and marrying, starting a family, and maintaining that family for decades, or maintaining that union for decades, more than mm. it is now. Mm. And that's what he was saying. He was saying, when you look at the core principle of the, uh, uh, of the 50s and the 60s and the 70s and the 80s, right? We yeah. have deviated from that, especially the women. The women keep saying, oh, we don't need a man. You don't hear men walking around and saying, well, we don't need well, women. Well, Vita said a while ago she doesn't need, uh, well, somebody here, Petra, said um, artificial, in artificial insemination. We don't need a man. We want, <laughs> you know. All the all these but, things which are in place now, you know. <laughs> but, but to be honest, even with artificial insemination, you still need a um a man. You still need uh, a man. But, well, a they're, man. They're, hold on, hold on, Sibren. Yeah. A man created the technology. It was a man who created that technology. Yeah. Right. And usually in that scenario, right, you have far more male doctors than women doctors. Mm. Right? So, so, so even when, even in certain, in certain things when women say, oh, we can do this, we can do that, right? Yeah. It is men who created the comfort level. Mm. And one, one of Kevin's famous terms, and which, is, which is a fact, Men have modernized this world so much, so much, that women can be so confident and comfortable to say that they don't need a man because we have modernized the world so much. Yeah. Good, good evening, Emika. Good evening, Beecher. Good evening, guys who are there. Thank you for joining. And uh, I'm here with Lester. We're looking at the, the legacy of Kevin Samuels and uh, his passing. And we're just having a moment of reflection at the same time. Um, the, 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 the thing about that, there's a song that James Brown sang. It's a man's world, but it is nothing without a woman's touch. You know? True. And, True. and, and, and the, the, the point right there in that song is we all need each other. We, we, we need yeah. each other strategically. As much as possible. That even in relationship whereby <laughs> let's go down the route of let's touch something which I don't like to touch, but in same sex relationship, there's a gender factor which is displayed where one is more masculine <laughs> than mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. So therefore it, it demonstrates the, the need for that difference, opposites attract in a sense yes. which is very powerful. Yes. And and that proves a point, no matter what, that we have to find the ways to bridge the gap so people can operate very effectively and to be strong. And I believe as much as possible, no matter how much a woman says, I don't need a man, I can do this by myself, deep down, they would and wouldn't mind a strong man who comes alongside there and not telling them what to do, but can lead from the front that they can actually say, he's my king because he treated me like a queen. Silver. Yeah. Silver. As much as you see women on the outside or, or publicly say that they don't want a man telling them what to do, yes. these very women in private confines would admit that they love a man who is controlling. They, they find it sexy 
when a man come and take charge and just and just tell them what to do. These same women who, who, who would vocally, publicly yeah. say these things, yeah. but within the confines, they like when a man can yeah. step up and, or, and when a man be, just take full control. They love it. I always, I always wonder why bad man them always get a nice girl them sometimes. Lord <laughs> God. <laughs> And, and then, then, then the nice the, the nice guys them somehow always fail man and the and the bad man them is it, it, it I, I use this example again as young black boys them sometimes in families and in their home deep down they crave for this father figure they need yeah. that, that that person to to guide them to direct them even though it, whether it's harsh or not but they need that. They crave for it. Hence the reason why the gangs flourish. Hence the reason why, yeah. because the gang now is saying, don't worry, my boy, I'll take care of you. And Ray, 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 do that, do that, do that. Kick them up or whatever like that, but I'm taking care of you. And I think that is the whole aspect whereby there's this paternal and maternalistic desire uh -huh. of people, uh -huh. boys, True. women as well. You know, they, they, they don't have father, the missiles on a father, and sometimes they crave for a man who has a father thing at the same time, which is a wrong concept at the same time because it is misplaced. Yeah. yeah. But, okay, he, uh, let me touch on two things. Yes. He, I'm trying to remember the, the, the name of the, 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 the British show that, that he talked about, um, that, that they, 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 they sent some men on the island and sent some women on the other island. The names won't come back to me, right? Mm. And he said, listen, and to make his point that women need men, especially this, this world need men. So the, the, the women were on one island. So seven women, I think. No, ten women were on one island. Ten, were on, ten mm. men were on another island. Within four hours of the, of, of, of the men landing on the island, they found fire, they made fire, they made shelter, they had um, clean water, they had reserve water, they had protection, mm. they had persons who, and they had food and reserving food, right? They had a mechanism how to harvest food, right? Because what happened, uh, okay, when you look at the opposite island now, the women, you have... The same 10 women, up to day four, they have not created fire. Yes. Right? Up yes. to day four, they started to get super hungry. The producers had to step in and carry fresh water and carry food to them. Because women as a collective, everybody thought, oh, we're all equal. Oh, we're all powerful women. Oh, we're all sisters. No, men don't operate like that. Men mm. operate in a mm. in a hierarchy fashion, yes. right? And men understand that. Look, you see, we identify the natural leaders among us, and we fall in line and follow them. Women say, "Oh, we're all leaders. Oh, we're all we're we're we're, we're all um badasses. We're all independent." It doesn't work like that. Nothing gets we're done. All, we're all boss chicks. Yeah, yeah, but boss ladies. <laughs> There were two. There was a doctor and a nurse in the woman's camp, and 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 they got separated somehow. The two medical persons were together, walking and searching for some for, for some water or something like that. Mm. And like in 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 the male camp, right? There is always the medical person on site. There's always one medical person on site in case something happens. He was there to administer first aid mm. right and it was within within the, the, the camp of the women the producers of the show had to step in four times yes within two weeks to save the women mm. right and they had a they had a um they had a pig and they turned the pig into a pet yes they turned the pig into a pet because the pig was cute and, and we want not to kill him. They turned the pig into a pet. And even when the producers are hinting, they're saying, you're hungry. 
kill the pig and eat the pig. No, he's so cute. No, we can find food otherwise. And the, 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 the men had the same pig and they killed the pig. They used the skin of the pig for something. They, they utilized every aspect of the pig. And, 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 and when, when men look at women and say, you need us, right? They take it as we are putting them down. But it is the facts. Women do not like when they present facts. Look at Vita. From morning, we've been having a discussion about Kevin, right? And I keep saying to Vita, bring one, one, not ten, not five, one thing that Kevin has said that was incorrect. Vita has not brought anything up to no. What she's talking about is delivery. Oh, his delivery. Oh, he tears on black. What did he say was, that was wrong? Mm. Natural beauty said that was those women. No natural beauty. No. No. That was, that was those women. No. But, but we see it every day. We, we yeah, see yeah. this display every day. And people thinking that, oh, we're following Kevin. I said, Kevin was just a vessel to the world to say things that we men have been saying for decades. There's nothing new that Kevin have said on his platform that we men, and I, I, tell, I, tell, I tell women it's all the while, men will say certain things in front of you. When the woman walks off, we men have a different conversation because there are certain things, Silver, that we won't say in a woman's mm. presence. We won't say mm. that in our, no matter how close when a woman is, we are not saying certain things in a woman's presence. The conversation gets different when the woman walks off. Right? So mm. I've seen men show women the highest level of respect when they're around. And when the woman walks off, the same man would just have talked to the woman a while ago. You know, the, the conversation changes. Yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. But, 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 but you see, so, natural beauty, mm. not, 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 hold on, natural beauty is challenging me. Right? And I can touch on natural beauty that I can say this to you, natural beauty. If men were to disappear from the face of this earth today, right? Within seven days, within seven days, the world as it is would stop as it stopped to, stop to exist because you would die of hunger. You would die of cold. You would die of, of, of this lack of productivity. Because mm. the vast majority of productivity and production is created by men. Women but, but they, cannot, cannot mm. fuel or control or run this planet by themselves. They cannot. There's a school of thought. There's a school of thought which has been going around that um, if women are running the world, there would not be any war. But then there's another side of it whereby they, would all be, they, they won't be talking to each other. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just joking. But no, because... no, Silver, it's so it nice. <laughs> and the people will say that <coughs> you, 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 you're. She said, she said the other in a lie. Um, yeah, man, yes. I, 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 not your beauty. Yes. And, and, and yeah, keep... may I reserve the question? May I reserve the question yeah. until she come on? Yeah. Keep, keep talking while I look for her. Yeah. yeah. Uh... See, you see, you see. Women keep on presenting this 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 lie this lie what they they, they perpetrate that they tell themselves and they don't understand that the whole factor in why women can say and do certain things is because of men and, is that and true women that cannot no, women that cannot this bear grills is showing him yes 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 thank you Larry bear grills. Mm. Go, go for it. Go for it, Michelle. Michelle, if men were to disappear from the face of this planet, right? Women could not run this planet. After seven days, the planet will cease to exist as it is. And I'm, I'm being generous to say seven days. And guess what? I'm going to say the same thing. If woman mm. was supposed to disappear from this planet, within seven days, it would be the same thing. Let, let me tell you something. I'm not going to sit here and say we don't need men. We, we really don't need men. 
My mother grew up four of us without a man. And my mother never said she never need no man. But she grew up four way without man. My mother is a successful woman, grew up four pitney without a, a man. So it's not that we need. We should say we want a man, but we don't need a man. Yeah. Michelle. Okay. Michelle, can I ask a question, Michelle? Sure. It's, did, did you grow up in a house that had electricity? No, I grew up in a house with electricity, every goddamn thing. And you yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, 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 hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So hold on to Jody just, at the same time. Hi, Jody. Yes. Sir. Jody, big up yourself, Jody. Jody, you, you, you come back home. That's right. Yeah, pay attention to me. The okay. But, road, but Michelle, Michelle, you, you, you can nitpick when you need a man because what you're doing, you're minimizing what I'm saying. Right? No, your mother and every other woman who said that they're single Who's women, first? independent yeah. women. Right, you actually used and needed men to carry out that the structure and the function of your family because you had a thing called electricity, you had running water, the house that you lived in was built by yes, a man. So. Let's, what you trying let's to see, let's, let's hear Jody. Let's hear Jody. Can you say guys hear me? Yeah, because I'm driving, so I don't yeah. want to yes, stay on too Jody. long, right? Um. So just like me, I don't, I didn't know this Kevin guy yeah. before all of this, before he died. Um, I just heard people talking, so I don't know most of what he said. I don't know the basis, but based on what all of you have been saying since he started, um, mm. Silborn, um, and what Lester was just saying a while ago is true, right? Um, I... God created us to coexist. Man for a reason, woman for a reason. And maybe my female friends are not going to like me after this, right? But I don't care. Women need exactly. men and men need women. We both need And the sooner we admit to these things, the better we'll all be. Yes, women's roles have changed over the years for different reasons. And women have gotten more independent. But it doesn't make of them independent man. of a man. It's impossible to say that. It's stupid to say it, as a matter of fact. Um, I know personally I can't live without a man for more than one reason. But for women to get the idea that, hey, you're going to... This is my, my point on it. And men, for me, when it comes to relationship, men and woman relationship, I think we fight too much with gender roles. Um, I think we fight too much with things that are insignificant to the point that we miss out in the entire experience. So it is an experience that is to be had between two species, male and female, right? But because we're fighting with these gender roles, we don't get to experience the relationship. And whether it's a friendship or an intimate relationship, we don't get to enjoy it because we're always so stuck out on whose role it is to do something, um, you know, because you are this, then it is your responsibility. Because you are that, then it's your responsibility. And it goes both ways, uh, both from know. men and female, uh, men, men and women. I have seen it. And it destroys the entire experience of enjoying another human being, learning from another human being, growing with another human being. And that's just my personal take on it. Um, I am... I don't like to go into these debates because I find it mm. senseless. I think if you have a human being in your life that you say you want to be um, life partners with, for example, and I don't believe there is one life partner for everybody. Anyway, so that's another contradicting story about me, mm. so I'm not even going to go into that. Um, just like, you know, God created us like animals, mm -hmm. you know? Um, it's just a higher level of an animal. So we have the same kind of instincts, the, kind, the same kind of needs. There is a need when there is need for companionship to be cuddled. I see monkeys cuddle. I see dogs cuddle. Um, and then when it's mating time, they mate. When it's time to find food, they find food. Whether they're doing it together or one partner, one person is doing it or the other species is doing it, it doesn't matter to me as long as you can coexist in a world where you can add to each other's lives and be happy. 
So why we can't Jordan, just do that Jordan. instead of defining all of these part, roles and all of these things? Sorry, I'm going to put one different I disagree with I'm is just... when you say we need a man. We don't need. Yes, you do. It, yes, you do. It, 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 yes, you do. I understand. We're not to that out with her, but um, we need each other to coexist. We need okay. each other to coexist. Humans don't exist without men. You need a yes, sperm and you need an egg. A child no, no, no. does not come into place no, no, no. without a man. So the saying that you don't need a man does not make any sense. This no, no, no. will come from one man. Or this will take it from one monkey. Or one dog. Or one dog. Kevin would say, Kevin would, Kevin would say I can't, can't make this up. We can't make this up. <laughs> it's so it's not that you need a man. You have gay relationships that is a two woman and two man. So what do you say? All right, darling. Um, Lester I need a man. and Silver. Really okay. Um, I gotta go. I'm okay. on the road. Yeah, pay, pay and I have attention. to pay attention to the road. My yeah. point has been yeah, made. We, we, That's we just up. my opinion. Yeah. I'm not well, showing it on anybody, yeah, but that, it's just my opinion. Thank you, thank you, Jordan. 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 No yeah. problem. Take right. care, guys. I listen, but I won't. Right. Um, the, 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 the relationship, I'm just fine. And uh, it's not um, 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 Michelle, 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 can I ask a question, Michelle? Michelle, yeah, can I ask a question? You raise your kids by yourself? Um, <laughs> how would you say that? My kids are grown kids. Um, by myself, no. I wouldn't say I raised my kids by myself. No, my kids' okay. father, are, my kids' father is in is in their life. Okay, was in their okay, life. okay. Your kids were living with you. My kids lived with me. Yes. Yes. Okay. Raised my kids. And but, the, but 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 the father was out of the house, outside of the house. Yes. Okay. When something went wrong in your house, mm -hmm. and you call for. You call the company, you call for somebody to repair that thing, right? Mm -hmm. Was it a woman that comes? Oh, no, could you allow me to ask a question? No, could you allow me to ask a question? No, could you allow me to ask a question? No, could you allow me to ask a question? No, could you, no, but I'm asking a question. No, no, but, but Michelle, 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 I'm asking a question, Michelle, right? And as Kevin would say, please don't overtalk me and be respectful. That's, that's all I'm asking. My question yeah. is. 99% of the time, when a person comes to your house to repair anything at all, what gender was, was the person? Both genders, female and... No, 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 no. But that's not the question I asked, Michelle. That's not the question I asked. Ask a specific question. But, but, but what you have to realize, um, um, you have to realize is that this is where we went. We, we are going with this gender role thing. This gender. See, you're, 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 this is where you're moving it right now. You're, you're moving it like a man run this thing and a man do this thing. No, female was great, big part of it as well. We're big teachers. Are we, are we are the first teacher? I know. We, black female, we are the first teachers. We. So, 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 therefore, you, 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 so you, you, you realize one, one second, let's see. Silver, yeah. no, silver, yeah. hold on, silver, hold on. Okay, go on, go on, Michelle, go on, go on. Michelle, you realize, and this is the problem that women have with Kevin. Kevin asks a specific question that determines a specific answer, and what women do, they avoid answering the question because they, they have a need to be right. I you, Michelle, have displayed the same, you, you display the same thing what Kevin has said. I'm asking you, the, 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 the men, the, 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 the personnel, the gender that comes majority of the time, 90% of the time, that comes to your house when something needs to be fixed, what were the gender? That's all I'm asking. Okay, if the, the gender is male, and that's because of how society is, and that's because, because of how we grow up, we, we, we're rear in a society that we believe that a man should be doing this role or a man should be doing that role. I have friends that is female, mechanic, and good mechanic too. Okay, so when you go that, that road with me with saying who come to your house, I, hey, a man come on my house, come fix something. It doesn't mean that a, 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 a female needs a man. I don't need all right. I would love um, to have a man in my life, but I don't need. 
Michelle, Michelle, I, I'm, 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 go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to list, I'm going to list um, three industries, right? In the energy industry, right? How many women you know that work on a, 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 a oil rig plant in the sea? I'm not going to go there because, to tell the truth, I don't no, go no, with no, when do. you talk about you taking polls. I don't do polls. No, no, it's not okay. about so polls. But, okay, but, Lester, so that's but, one. But, Hold but, on, that, that's, 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 okay, but, one, but, that's okay, one, Lester. What's the second one? Okay, What's the second okay. one, Lester? In the, in the timber industry. Where are we going with that? <laughs> What's the third one, Lester? Uh -oh. A timber industry, the oil rig industry is mostly man in it. So what? We have plenty other careers in life that you have female that and, is and, in it. Okay. And doing these it. two in the, hold on, these two industries, these two industries, right? Are all they feed into the, the wider society that runs the wider society. Just these two industries alone, right? The dangerous jobs on this planet are all dominated by men to make your life comfortable so when you say you don't need a man that's that, that's crap you need men more because we run the industries that make women lives comfortable and and that's not our opinion that's a fact because that's it, is, a it fact. is what it is that is not a fact um mm. that is not a fact that is not okay. a fact that's well, Jordan, uh, Michelle, okay, okay. I, I think we're not one is not going to be able to change certain minds here tonight. But Jody said something which was very powerful, and she said we all need each other, and I we and I believe, and we we coexist, exactly. and we 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 we, we um complement each other to a certain extent. Exactly. Let's so start, stop letting it seem like yeah. a woman need a man more than all. Yeah, yeah, more than yeah. That's, that's, you, that's, you do, I, but I, you I, do. Well, well, but you do. Lester, Lester, at the end of the day... We will love um, a man in my life, but I don't need a man. Yeah. At the end of the day, everybody has their own truth. That is yeah. why many people... Are, everybody say, like, D David... Um, what's his name? Um, S Kevin Samuels also has his own truth. Exactly. The question is... And a lot question of people is, look at his life and say, in divorce so much time, in this so much time, so oh, you can't even... Comment on them things the way you're coming on. Well, well, actually, I I tend to differ on that point there because just the because divorce? someone, just because someone is married was married twice, that's a different way of looking at it. Just because someone was married twice, and is not with the same persons, that doesn't mean to say he hasn't learned something through the course of that time, so that he can teach people or guide people and say, listen, I made these mistakes or whatever like that based on my experience. I think you shouldn't do this, or I think you should do this, or whatever like that. I think that's a powerful experience. And then it could be another experience that he had so many bad experience with black females that he could tend to say he downed them. You, you ever think about that too? He has had bad experience with black females, and this is the reason why he put them down. That could be it as well. But but he has not put down anybody. How, how has he put down anybody? And put on black females. No. Okay. Kevin Samuel well, well, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, Michelle, Michelle, okay. repeat How? what I said. It's not answer what I said. Listen to him all the time. Okay, Michelle. How? He down black female. He he bundled all he bundled all of us up in one. And that's what I don't like about it. He bundled all black females in one. And I don't check for that. Because me not run my life or me see a lot of them. Black these females run their life. That's not the, what, what oh. I do. I it, it's a good point. Like oh. it, 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 oh. uh, let's say it's a the, good the, point the, that Michelle. The females that I'm around, yeah. Yeah. that's not Mich how we flow. Michelle has made some a good point there, and I want to ask Michelle this question. Um, while you're not liking how he put black women down, but yet you say you watch him. I do watch him. Okay, question because why? I, I want I want to work on negative, yeah. you could get positive out of it, you know. In every ah. negative, you could get a positive out of it. Right. You understand? So, so me? can I? So, so can I ask you this question? There's things that he says mm. that he says that you is something for you to think about. Right. But then okay. there's other way. I guess yeah. how he delivers it is a true. Yeah. It, you know, I, I, true. sometimes. I, I, no, no. Let's 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 just she, listen she, to the message and don't yes. um watch a messenger really, right? Yes. But what I'm trying to say is that 
sometimes yeah. you can go about it a different way if you want to catch people and say draw them in. The way yeah. Kevin went about he it, he catch a lot of people. Wait, 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 listen, let's wait, listen. He Let me caught wait. a lot of people, yeah. but he caught a, a black females. A lot of black females yeah. wasn't up on Kevin. Them did with Kevin. Let's what go, I didn't uh, like about Kevin is ninety ninety two percent. Say what you say, Lester, and then I come back to Michelle. Michelle, 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 like Michelle what you're saying is what you're saying is incorrect we because ninety two percent of his viewers were women, black women, were his majority of viewers. Yeah. Not no. There's no. But 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 hold on. Hold on. I I listen to you. My point is, I've been waiting for you to tell me. One way that he's put down black women, right? His whole mantra was black woman, know your value. Before you go to another man, right? And give that man of your body, give that man of your youth, give that man your womb, right? Know that you're going to date with a purpose. Isn't that what, what his main thing is? Don't just date for dating sake. Don't just date for sex. Don't just... Date with a purpose to get married. Date with a purpose that you're going to have a serious, committed relationship with this person. <coughs> Isn't that what you have always said? Black, pe black woman up in one. I didn't check for him mm. with that. Michelle, because, Michelle, uh, Michelle, uh, Michelle, 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 Okay, I'm good. I'm Michelle. I, I won't get somebody else to come in. A guy named Charles Simpson. Somehow I can't get another person. Um, Michelle, there's a point listed that Michelle said. I want to take it as a teaching moment. And she said something which I said earlier, which is even though the delivery is off, there are things that he says that makes her think, right? And there are things he says which actually is positive. And, and that is why I wanted to have this discussion tonight as to the legacy of Kevin Samuels to look at how, what can we take from him at the same time? And even the areas how we deliver things, how can we, as a matter of fact, use it to deliver it and build ourselves, build our community, build each other. Because the reality, what Michelle said, even though she says we don't need each other, that we don't need man. You don't need man. We don't need man. I didn't say but we. I said me. Me. Okay. 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 Speak for me. No. No. I like that. I like that. I like that. Right. Let me. I, I, I like how you. I like how you clarify that you yeah. don't need, but at the same time you accept that we need. We we, we need to work to work together. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. So don't. I, and the, I don't need. Yeah. Yeah, and listen, we can't fight that. Well, I'm living my life, yeah. and I'm and I'm happy, and I'm living my life just the same. I'm going through yeah. life just the same, and that's yes. it. Yes, yes. So I don't okay. need. I would love yeah. to have a man in my life, but I don't need. Okay, let's say any last word to um because I get Charles Simpson want to come in, and somehow I can't seem to get him in. On he says I only can do right. three, uh, and I, a while ago, but no, let's uh, let's uh, I want to say if you want to say any last word to um. To no, 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 you don't need her. Let's not, right? Let me shut that bridge, man. Let me shut that bridge, man. Let me shut that bridge, man. All right, Mish. Big up yourself, Mish. Big up yourself, natural beauty. Right. Bye, 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 Mish. Thank you. Okay. I don't know how to do this again. Let's forget it. How? This, yeah, because the this is next thing. Okay. The X, yeah. the X for the top, Michelle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, I, I got Charles Simpson wanted to come in. Um, yeah. Let's see if, if I, it, it's very interesting. Um, uh, the whole thing, and and I'm very intrigued by the discussion tonight, and especially Jody's, um driving you know when she's driving that's when she's in her element <laughs> um, but, but but silver what what, what mm. i think women are doing they, they are minimizing the conversation right mm. to to an intimate relationship 
right? Mm. And and Kevin was not just relegating the man and woman um, interaction to this intimate relationship, right? So so when I say that women need men, women automatically go to the intimate relationship, and I'm saying. When you look at the productive side, when you look at the social side, when you look at the, the, just the, the whole fabric of society, right? The things yeah. in, in, in our society that make the society a society. Men are the ones who invent it, who innovate it, and who, can, who maintain it and who run it, right? Yes. So, when, when, so, so when he says, when Kevin says that, and I agree with him, and you can't fight facts. You can mm. always have your opinion, and your opinion can be strong, but you cannot change what the fact is, right? Now, one of the points that I wanted to bring to, to Michelle or to, or to the audience is the, the, the same power plant thing, right? Uh. If, if you have 50 men that run a power plant, if those men were to disappear, you would need at least 150 women to run that same power plant on the basis of just physical strength. Because yes. women don't have the same, the average woman don't have the physical strength that the average man has. Yes. So even yes. a man at, 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 at five two, his physical strength to a woman at five two is very different. Mm. Right? And these are, some of the, these are some of the simple things that Kevin displayed and said, stop saying that you don't need a man. Because the road that Michelle drive pan for go to work or go to shop. It was a man who struck the road. Right? Most of the time when I see women on, con on, on, on construction sites, yes. women yes. are not doing the heavy lifting. Yes. Right? Uh, so I, 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 we're not saying, we're not, we, there's no way that Kevin or I or other men are saying that women are incapable of doing these things. We're not saying that, right? But if you look at certain industries, right? If men were to disappear, where would women learn? The, where would women get the knowledge from immediately to run the industry? Yeah. Where? What you're saying, what you're saying, there is a need for a level of acknowledgement of these of facts. Of course. Yeah. Because uh, because uh, if, if if you have a male-dominated industry and men disappear, right? This yeah. industry is an integral part of society continuance. Yes. Where would the knowledge for the women come from to run it? Yeah. yeah. Well, <clears throat> I was trying to get Charles Simpson in, but um, as some always, I, 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 I don't know what happened there. Um, let's say before we wrap up, um, any, any sort of last sort of observation as to the, the message of Kevin Samuels a, a way forward? Where do you see that going? Do you think it's, it's going to die a natural death or are you going to see a rise of more of it. Let me see if I can get um, Charles Simpson. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a, it's a sad thing, um, but the true testament of your life is when you pass on the legacy that you leave back. And that is why men want to have children, you yes. know? And that's why kings try to have a lot of children and stuff like that. So, for, for, for their heir to, to, to carry on their, their, their legacy. Um, mm -hmm. Kevin has made such a mark on, on the internet, <clears throat> on our lives, mm -hmm. um, and his legacy will live on because more and more people now are tuning in to his, to his message, you know? Oh, big up. Mm. Hi, Charles, how are you doing? Sir? Hello, good evening. Yeah, I don't know why I, I don't know why you couldn't come in earlier. Maybe you know, but anyway, glad that you're here now. Still, I was trying to get you in. Yeah, okay. I, I've been listening to um, the program, and I've been following Kevin Samuel for some time now. And uh, yes, sir, uh, I, I I have not found anything wrong with his delivery or the message which he's delivering. Now, our society has um, evolved to a point where. We do not want to accept objective reality. We, are, we have a society where a man would pretend to be a woman and want society to accept him as a woman. One of the things, take for example, a man would say, people would say, oh, well, if he feels like a woman, 
He's a woman. Cool. <laughs> my question is, right? No, yeah. I've been in the military, right? I've been shot before. If you've never been shot, how do you know what it feels like to be shot? A man has never been a woman. So he could never, he could try and, and, and imagine what it feels like to be a woman. Mm. I, 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 I had a situation where I'd never had a toothache, right? And I had a toothache a couple of years ago. And I went to the doctor for, for months. They were running blood tests. They couldn't figure out because I didn't know it was a toothache. I've never had a toothache, so I couldn't equate it to a toothache. All I knew I was having serious migraines. Yes. So, so when, when, we, when, when we look at how our society has evolved and, and people are trying to distort the facts, all Kevin was doing was stating the facts. Now, we have countries in the world like, say, Saudi Arabia that are very, and, and Afghanistan that are very oppressive to women, and these countries function. Could you name me one country in the world that is functioning only by women? Where the infrastructure and everything in that country is run solely by the input of women. It, it doesn't happen. It has never happened. Mm. One of the other things, okay, take for example, as a man, if you're in your house and your boiler breaks, most men would know how to fix it. Mm. Or if you're driving, and your car, some women can't even change the tires on their car. Mm. So when, when, when that, that is what Kevin Samuel was trying to point out. If I, as a man, is cast in the middle of the Amazon right now, with my life experiences, I will survive. I would find a way out. What, what, most women would not be able to do it. And these are things that Kevin was highlighting. He wasn't, he, he, he wasn't belittling women. And when he points out certain things that he's saying to women. We have strayed from the traditional way of dating, of respecting our men, and that is why so many black women are bitter, hurt, and unmarried. That was all he was saying, and it is true. Because women want us as men to, to remain traditional. They want us to be the provider, they open the doors, do all the things that men traditionally do. However, women don't want to be submissive and they don't want to respect their, their, their spouses. Or and be no feminine. Man, or be no, feminine. Exactly. No man who knows his worth is going to accept a woman who is not respect, respect, um, respecting him. Now take for example, as a man, you're working, you're paying the bills, you're keeping a roof over her, her head, you're looking after the children, you're doing mm -hmm. all you're supposed to do as a man. And she will tell you, oh, I'm a modern woman. How dare you tell me to go and, and prepare, prepare meals for you? But the same woman would go out, right, and at work, and her boss would say, could you go and get me a cup of tea? And she would, she would go and do it. Mm. Who is more important? Her, her white boss. Exactly. Who is more important? And these were the kind of things that Kevin was highlighting. Mm. You know, you know one, of the, one of the things that you said there, I, I, I'm married, and we sometimes go to uh, marriage um, meetings and so with couples and one of the things the pastor always says is that men will always say this whenever there are problems they feel disrespected more than they feel loved disrespect is one yes. of the things that men hate yes i feel yes. disrespected they, they won't yes. say anything about um i don't feel loved or anything i don't feel they always what gets to them more is feeling disrespected men hate yes. that more than even but, love the word. <laughs> but 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 yeah. you see you see what even when I listen to Michelle and I love Michelle, you know, a lot of people may not know that mm. we are Michelle of a good rapport. But when you listen to the women, even since the passing of Kevin, when you listen to the vitriol and the disrespect that women are from all walks of life are coming for this man, you know, and they would say the harshest, most nastiest thing, right? And in turn, if it was a woman, right, that had died, if it was a woman that had died, say Ellen DeGeneres, right? And men are saying the same thing that, they are, that women are saying about Kevin, if men were to say the same thing, exact thing that women said about Kevin, about a woman, the same woman would not have it. But, but the other thing is, society has, has, has told our women that they don't need to be feminine and they could do what men do. Now, yeah. 
So women think now that they could go around and sleep with whoever they want to sleep with. And fine, it's your body, you have the choice. Yeah. But it is yeah. also my choice as a man to say that I still hold the traditional values where I want a virtuous woman. So don't be upset with me. I, as a man, I decide I want a virtuous woman. You decide that you want to go around, sleep with everybody because you want to be masculine. Yeah. And, you know, and these are the things that Kevin was speaking about. You understand? Because our society, in, 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 not say, or in the past, men have been somewhat domineering and well. So in trying to right, right the so-called wrongs, it's tipped the, the balance to another extreme. Yes. Yeah. And what Kevin was doing, I think Kevin came about at a right time when black society needed somebody to really tell all women what is happening and what yeah. time it is so that we can start having black families coming together yeah. because we have too many broken homes, too many of our black young men. And mind you, black women love saying these men ain't shit, but these men are product of black women. Black women, because these women are saying, oh, I'm, I'm bringing up, they're trying to bring up men on their own and just like how a man doesn't know what it feels like to be a woman, a woman doesn't know what it is to be a man. So she cannot teach her son how to be a man. So then exactly. they turn wrong after bringing up these feminine men, turn on and say, oh, he's not masculine enough, so he can't tell me what to do. He's a product very, of you. Yeah, that's a very interesting but, point, Charles. But, 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 child, but, 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 yeah, but, 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 you have women, just, just to piggyback on Charles' point, you have women mm. who go out there and sleep around. And when they reach 35, they say, you know what? I want to settle down now, right? And now their history is out there. You know? And when the, man, when the men said, hey, look, you're, you're free to do what you want to do, you know, right? But for me, I think that your body count is too much. You understand me? So I'm not going to go there with you. So when Kevin says that a woman, what, what is 35, and unmarried, right, are leftovers. Women get all up in their feelings. When he said, you were out there being masculine. You were out there chopping down every, every tree that you saw. Now you're saying that I am ready to settle down. You know what women said? How men can do it. We can, we can do that and still be desirable to women and get married. You <laughs> cannot do the same thing and be desirable to men. And men want to marry you. Can I just put this point here to both you, Charles and um, Lester? The delivery, as we say, is a factor and the words which are being used. And I can understand why women would be offended by the term leftovers because we know what leftovers are. Leftovers is something that after a while they just dash it away. You know, you, I, I, but, but, I, I, but, but, wait, 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 wait. You know, I, I, I don't like leftovers, <laughs> you know, um, in, in a sense, in the fridge and all those sort of things. I like fresh stuff. Is there another, what, okay, how would you, and I, I'm going to ask you guys, how would you deliver that sort of message without using the word leftovers? Go with you, Charles, first, and then pick up your to, point. I, I to just, be fair <laughs> to Kevin, to be, to yeah. be fair to Kevin, yeah. the term leftovers was not coined by Kevin, and, and Kevin was repeating no. what I, ah, what, 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 no, that, no, that's education, report. that's education yeah. there now. Yes. And Kevin clearly, clearly said that because he was talking about the, in the context of the Chinese, where and in the, the Japanese, Chinese, yeah. women are referred to as leftovers. Kevin leftovers, clearly said yeah. that. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but people want to distort the, the, the narrative to suit, yeah. suit the, 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 yeah. their agenda. That's very good. No, yes, yeah. yes yeah. Many times when Kevin could have been more subtle with his delivery. However, how long have us black men in particular, because Kev, Kev, mean, mean and subtle, remember, yeah. Yeah. You follow Kevin from the big, from the onset. Kevin Force used to have a go at black men, telling black men how they need to be. You understand? So how long have us as black men say to our women that look, you need to be more feminine. You need to respect your men more. You need to, to, to um, respect yourself. And a lot of times women try to say, oh, we do this because that's what men want. No. Women do it because that's what they want to do. So when, when, when um, a woman decides she wants to walk the street 
half naked. It's your prerogative. But as a man who, I'm not a Christian, but I grew up in a Christian home and there are certain values that I, that I appreciate. And yeah. for me, I do not want my woman, my personal woman, a woman that I respect, to flaunt her body in a way that everybody, for everybody to see. That some women see that as controlling. But I see that you, reflect, you represent me. It's like if you're working for a company, if you're a police woman, no, okay, the same woman doesn't feel that she represents her husband. But if you're a police woman, would you then go out on the street while you're on duty, half naked? You represent the police force. You're going to be disciplined for it. So why when you represent your husband? Because when you leave your home, you represent your husband, you represent your kids. Why do women think that it's okay to do certain things? And these, these, these are the kind of things that why we have such, such a, a, a moral decay. Mm. Because we, they, they don't respect themselves and nobody wants to be told that you're wrong. Yes. But Charles, oh. um, yeah. um, to, to, to piggyback on what Charles said, and to answer Don't what listen. you said, um, 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 Silver, right? You frozen, listen. Um, no, no, it's like you're frozen there, no, but it's spinning around. But 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 to but to, to, to answer what what Char, to, to pick back what what Charles is, said, to answer your question, Silver. Is there a two-hour thing on this? Let's say I don't, I don't know. It keeps spinning a while, like like when we used to have the vax the vax period when they used to shut us down. During the COVID period, you get the shutdown a lot. It's a little spinning maybe, going on. Maybe it's the big sure yeah. is then. Yeah, the big oh, sure is then want to shut. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Keep hear. talking, Lester, before we. Yeah, 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 but um, one of the one of the thing, Silburn, what what you're missing, what what you're missing, Silburn, yeah. is that. Yes. Charles is going to talk talk to me like a man. Yeah. I'm going to talk to you like a man. If I see a woman portraying a particular energy, I'm going to reflect back that energy, mm. right? And that's what has been happening. So, so women are saying, oh, um, you must speak to us like a woman. You're not behaving like a woman. You're not behaving True. feminine. That is the thing. So, so, so I am going to speak to you with the energy yeah. that you are emitting. Right? So when, oh, you have no respect. Look, here you're speaking to me. It's the energy that you come with. Mm. Right? Oh, I'm a boss. I'm a boss bitch. I'm an independent lady. I'm this. I'm... Exactly. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Then we are yeah. going to then match that energy. We're going to reflect that onto you, but when when we say when we say, listen, we want a woman that is feminine, that is friendly, that is caring, that can have a conversation, right? A simple thing as a conversation. You cannot walk up to these modern women nowadays and have just a platonic, simple conversation with them, right? Mm. And women love to say. Oh, um, Kevin, use these the, the, these measurements and these judgment, right? And, what, what, and I'm what, saying one, one of the other things they always use is because Kevin say men and women aren't equal. We're not. We're not. Mm. We're not equal. And it, as with any any institution, you can't have two heads because yes. if you have an institution with two two individuals and both of them are head, how would that work? Yes, yeah, guys. Listen, I'm gonna wrap up because I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I'm watching this thing spinning, and I don't want it to shut down on us, and we lose this show. But there's a point I want to flag up in the last bit here, Kevin and and Lester, Ch Charles and Lester, Charles. Ch Charles and Charles and Lester. It is deemed that Kevin Samuels was a voice that lots of black men, um, voice was coming out. Yes, can we agree True. on that? That is something that I yeah. picked up. Uh, because sometimes, you know, you got someone who, like Bill Cosby at one point, when he was a pull up at Charles and all those other things, was saying something that many people weren't saying. Could it be that this vitriol and this hate are so towards the dead man and the principle of Kevin is actually an attack on the black man as well? I would say so. I would say so mm. to an extent. But also, mm. people always push back at change and everything, anything that is revolutionary. And mm. the way Kevin delivered his message is revolutionary. Um, and there's always a saying that 
if you don't have enemy, you ain't doing you ain't doing something right. And the fact yeah. that Kevin had 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 so many enemy, it meant that he was doing something right. He was his message was getting across, and it was causing a stir. And I think that Kevin wanted to do that. Kevin Kevin has lived his life. He's mm. come. He's made an impact. And Kevin would be remembered not only in the black society, but he would be remembered for years to come. And I do hope that his message would not be in vain, but at yeah. least would have sown a seed that black women now would start to think. Because a lot of things he said really was to invoke women to think. Because yeah. what, what, what sense does it make tra tracing a career and the very essence of being a woman you've, you've lost out on because you, you chase a career and then you find yourself in your 40s and you don't have a family, you, you don't have somebody to love you. The, the, because that is what life is about. Life is about sharing your life with mm. someone. And mm. if you've lived and you haven't shared your life with someone, you haven't lived. You haven't really experienced life. Yes. And that is what Kevin was really saying. It is... Can I, yeah. yeah. Can, I just, can I just ask I, you a question? I, I, can, can I just ask you a question there, Charles? You said yeah. if you have so many enemies, I mean, they say you're doing something right. Yes. Is, yeah. is, is Putin doing something right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 um, yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, we touch, we touch it another time. I just want to push up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> No, yes, but, 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 okay. okay, 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 we're not going to discuss tonight. The trio we have a life, and um, and it's like, but but, but, yeah. but Silver, yes. Sil yes. Silver, uh, Kevin has tipped the scale to the other end, right? And Kevin has so given a lot of a, a, a lot of men, a lot, a lot of men, mm. the voice that they need, the, the the lift that they need, also to demand better of the black mm. woman, to demand True. better of the black man, to say, hey, you black men, right? Give the women something to follow. You say you want to be leaders, but put yourself in a position, right? Present yourself in a way. Because he was big on the presentation of how a man looks, right? Yes. He said, he said, he said look, look here, stop eating the nachos and the chips and stuff like that. Go exercise, right? Yes. He said, he says he always always impl implore the men to give the women something to look at, mm. to aspire to. Yes. Right? He said also, don't go out there and have multiple children all over the place. He said yeah. that consistently. Right? And so, he also and he talked about high value man, not not only being about how much your money money, your money no. But no. you must be right. you, you must be somebody who contributes to society. You must be a, a, a member of, of social groups, and so so yeah. you must be somebody who is influential in society. It's not just about money. We have high value man is not who, yeah. who have got well, money. Well, uh, well, uh, in closing, well, one thing for sure, I believe that we have all come on here today and 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 celebrate the black man. You know, when somebody was at, was saying something to me and laughing, saying. He died and blah, blah, blah. And I said, I'm here celebrating a black man. I'm here celebrating yes. a brother. You know, you may have differences with him, but I'm celebrating a brother because, you see, the funny thing about it, you know, Lester, when you think about it, you know, as men and as leaders and as commentators and social commentary, we have voices that people like and so people don't like. And when we mm -hmm. see this, what is happening to Kevin, we need to look and say, wow. Is this what will happen when we pass on as well? So, we, so, mm -hmm. so therefore, the, the most important thing that we have to do is live our truth, be truthful, that in death, we can say we live right. We live the best way that we can. And I think yeah. it's, it's upon us. It is incumbent upon me, you, Charles, and Lester to continue, I believe, the legacy of Kevin Samuels in speaking the truth and speaking up and out, and also yeah. building up our women at the same time, and building up our brothers. That's what I think. That's what I, that's what I got from Kevin. I don't know what anybody else got from Kevin, but that's what I got from him. The little amount of time that I uh, listened to him, and and I think I'll be spending more time <laughs> watching his videos and see hear yeah. what he's saying, and, and to get yeah. the gem from him, guys. You know, yeah. and, and and he was big mm -hmm. on in closing, Kevin, yeah. and, and to, to the ladies here. I want to tell you something. Kevin was big on accountability. He was very big on that. Look, 
as mm-hmm. as adults we have to take account of responsibility for action yes. yeah yeah and and, and don't, don't don't go about doing and living in a careless fashion and mm-hmm. expect that everybody is going to accept it or must accept it because if you live a particular way that's how people are going to react to you so if you have mm. accountability if you have respect if you have things in order then your life will go in a particularly positive fashion right and that's all he was trying to say and he he again and i've been saying this from morning kevin yeah. for the last three years was hard on the black man <clears throat> when you hear him speak to a black man right it is 10 that times is worse Ten times worse because he mm. put the pressure on us. He said that you are why women are not following the black man anymore, right? Mm. So you have to be the difference. You have to be the the man in the relationship. Don't but, let a woman be more masculine than you. But I also highlighted as a man, right? We have to deal with the consequences of our choices. So yes. if you don't build a strong foundation as a man to be able to to provide for a woman. You don't get to pick the best of the women, and likewise, Kevin was saying to women, yeah. "Women, you have to be accountable for your actions because you cannot live a carefree life." He said, "He always says women have access to control, access to sex; men control access to marriage. So mm. you cannot then go and live a promiscuous life or carefree life, and then when you feel that like you're ready to settle down, that." You can have the cream, the the pick, because a lot of these women always say they want a high value man, a man who owns over. So, and he's saying, look, these are the these are the the creme de la creme. These are the top of 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 black men, and you cannot get the best of the black men when you have not lived uh, um up to a certain standard. Mm. And that mm. I, that that is that is one of the things that I want of women to get is that women, you owe it to yourself. To yeah. live and conduct yourself in a way where men could look at you with respect, and because one of the things I always say to um, I, I draw because I have a daughter, uh, mm. I, I draw this reference. I say to her, women say, "Oh, um, the way a woman dress doesn't matter," and I say mm. to my daughter, "If you take a judge and dress her like a prostitute and put her in a bar, and you take a prostitute and dress her in a robe." And you pick five men who knows nothing about these men, and they walk into the bar. Who do you think that they would address as ma'am and with respect? And who do you yes. think that they would address? Mind you, the judge is the judge. Nothing strange about her, her education, but based on what you see, you're going to address her yes. in a slutty kind of way or disrespectful kind of way. And the, the prostitute who is dressed in a robe, you're going to go over to her and you're going to address her in a respectable way. That is why. You see a police, you don't know if that person is really a police, but you see the uniform, and because yes. the way that person is dressed, you give them respect. Mm-hmm. You see a pastor wearing a collar, you, 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 the way you dress says a lot about you. And Kevin, Kevin was big on, on how men carry themselves. Yes, he was yeah. big on how men yeah. carry themselves. That's well, why guys, when women yeah. are wearing bonnets, etc., yeah. he spoke about. You have to, <laughs> because first yeah, impression is... Yeah, and I noticed one time he had a lady on, and the lady was in bonnet, and she wanted a high value man. And he said, "You're, you're talking. Yeah, I'm with thousands of people watching, and you're on your bonnet. You know what? What is exactly. this? But anyway, that's another thing, guys. Listen, we, we, let's say we have to continue this another time. I, I believe we have struck something. Where and Charles, listen, nice meeting you. Let's follow nice each other as well. You. you know, where are you, Charles? Where are you based, by the way? I'm, I'm in the UK. I'm in, I'm in London at present, but I'm from okay. St. Vincent. Oh, we 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 thought we I'm, thought we the accent. You the accent. Are you there? You're in no, Jamaica. No, I, I, well, I might have a Jamaican accent because my partner is um Jamaican. And we're I don't want to. Where are you, Charles? Where you said? I'm in London. It's frozen. <laughs> so he's in London. He's in London. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you're in London. Yeah, yeah, I'm in London. Yeah. Oh, you're in London, Charles. Oh, cool. <laughs> All right. yeah. well, don't tell nobody <laughs> we're in London. Okay, but well, listen, guys, listen. I, I, the reason why I'm trying to shut down is because I keep seeing this thing spinning, and I want to keep this show there. <laughs> That's why we, we let's turn our there it is spinning again. I don't know if it's a wire or what. It's is a, is a, is a data. It's um the internet when the signal is weak, it starts buffing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
All right. Well, listen, guys. Thank you so much, and we'll follow this up another time, Lester, and continue. Yeah. Charles, looking forward to meet you as well, guys. Okay. Long live the word of Kevin. Long live yes, the word of Godfather. Kevin. Godfather. <laughs> Godfather. Thank you. All right. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, and have peace a good out. night as well. See you around next time. Okay. Bye bye.